Hey guys, we're going to connect two lessons together into one video. Uh, we're going to start with lesson 5.1, which is adding and subtracting integers. Sorry, integers. That's what the other kids are doing. It's another I word, inequalities. So we're going to talk about uh, what is an inequality, we're going to talk about signs, and what's interesting is we are going to actually, since there's going to be an infinite number of correct answers, we end up having to do um, a number line to actually demonstrate how many answers there are, okay? So an inequality, let's get, just give a nice definition. is a math sentence, so like an equation, except for instead of containing an equal sign, it's going to be an inequality symbol, so greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, okay? So again, graphs of solutions is typical since there's an infinite number of solutions equations, we have one answer. Certain other equations, we might have two answers. Could be three answers. But always with inequalities, there's an infinite. Because our answers are always going either to the right on a number line or to the left. So let's look at the inequality symbols. Uh, let's do... So we're going to group them a couple different ways. So we've got greater than, and greater than or equal to, okay? So we've got greater than is the first one. And the second one is greater than or equal to. So we have two options here. It could be the exactly the same, or it could be more, okay? So, for example, x is greater than 3 means 3 is not a solution. So, everything after 3 is a solution, including 3.00000000001, okay? But in greater than or equal to, so x is greater than or equal to 3, 3 is a solution. Okay? So let's talk about less than or less than or equal to. So less than. less than or equal to. Okay, so if we have x is less than 3, again, 3 is not a solution. And if we have s is less than, s, x is less than or equal to 3, then we would say 3 is a solution. Okay? So, right off to the side, how do we solve inequalities? Well, the same way we solve equations. We're going to use inverse operations. So, we're going to do inverse operation. 
And here's what's crucial. It's ordered. And we're going to get variable on the left. Always. Constant on the right. Okay. The reason why we do this is if you have spell constant right constant there we go if you have your inequality on the left just like I've been trying to get you to get your any your variable on sorry I think I said that wrong so we want the variable on the left of the inequality just like I wanted you to have the variable on the left of the equation because if you have your variable on the left of an inequality then the inequality is actually pointing the direction your line should go. So then, oops, sorry, it changed back to black. The second step would be to graph the number or graph the solution on a number line. And just when you thought, okay, ready to go. We need to make sure that we understand how we signify in the number line if the number is or is not a solution, okay? So we're going to start with greater than. So this means excludes. So the number that comes after the inequality symbol is excluded as being an answer. So to exclude, we use something called an open circle. So at that number, we're going to draw an open circle at the number. Okay, And because it's pointing to the right, we're going to graph right. continue with the cousin greater than or equal to. Now the or equal to says that number is included. So we said includes. Okay. So how do we demonstrate that? We're going to have what's called a closed circle. So it's going to be filled in. It's an open circle. It's kind of like with the when you're doing a comparison problem and you have an open circle, you got to figure out what inequality goes in there. So we're going to have a closed circle okay, at the number. And we are going to graph right. Why? Because it's pointing that direction. It's telling you that your answers are greater than or equal to the number on the other side. Okay, and then we're going to go the other direction. So less than is like greater than, it excludes the answer. So on this one, we're going to have, again, an open circle at the number. Uh, but this time, we're going to graph left. Let's see. Let me try writing that again. left because 
all of the numbers are going to be less than the number that we're told it. And also, if you look at it, it's pointing to the left. All right, so then we got the less than or equal to. And again, because of the or equal to, we know that the number is included. So it includes the number. Okay? So we're going to have a close. Oh, I forgot to. Here, hold on. Let's get this done right. Open circle and closed circle. At the number. And then we're going to graph left again. From the number. Okay, so you have things in the correct location, meaning the variable comes first, then the inequality, then the number. The inequality will point in the direction you're supposed to go. Okay. Now, let's see. I think I have one more thing. I might be able to fit it on here. So let's see if I can put it at the bottom. So then the last thing I want to talk about, and we've talked about it before, is called set builder notation. when we were doing kind of like a domain and range a little bit. So it's a formal way of writing an inequality solution. So I'm going to do it up here. I know that's lazy, but sorry. And we're going to talk about the set of numbers x such that x is greater than 3. Oops, sorry, don't need that. I need that. Okay. So it's the set, that's the braces, of all numbers that's the x, x, such that x is greater than 3. Okay, so this is what you, how you read it, so quotations. All right, um... I think I want to do some examples and then we'll do the multiplying and uh, dividing inequality. So let's go to the next page. I'll just do a couple of examples. Directions are going to ask us to solve. And then graph. The, and check the solution. So what that means is graph it and then test a number in where you graphed and does it make your conclusion a true statement okay graph and checks the solution I can already hear you do we have to do the check no you don't but if you get it wrong you're the only way you're gonna find out about it is from me all right so x minus 12 is greater than or equal to 8. So inverse operations, we're going to add 12 to both sides. And we get x is less than or equal to 20. So we're going to graph that. And you only really need three numbers on your number line. The number that's in the inequality goes in the middle, one number in front, one number behind. That's all I really need to see. So then we're going to analyze the greater than or equal to. So what it tells me is that it's going to be a closed circle. The or equal to says 20 is going to be um, 
one of your solutions, and then you're going to color to the right for greater than. Okay, so we go to where 20 is, and we just make a closed dot, just like we would graph normally, and then we color to the right. Now really exaggerate that and color in that arrow cap. Some of you when <coughs> kids, for whatever reason, they do it so lightly that I can't see the difference between the number line and their solution set. Now, if you've got a problem like this one, and the variable is not on the right side, this is when we do the symmetric property, but here's the deal. When I pick up that m minus 8 and put it over on the left, I need to maintain the relationship the inequality has. So notice that the inequality is pointing at the m. So when I flip-flop my sides, I also flip-flop the inequality. Okay, and then I solve. This is these are just super simple ones. Get eight, and then we get m is less than thirty. All right, so then we're going to analyze the less than, and. That tells us we're going to have an open circle. 30 is not one of the solutions. And we're going to color left for less than. So again, I'm just going to put three numbers on there. Now, of course, what makes this trickier is we could have fractions or decimals. We could have negatives. So keep that in mind. And usually what happens on when we have negatives is that uh, people count wrong on the number line for whatever reason. So we're going to do an open circle, just so everybody understands that 30 is not a solution, and then we're going to color to the left. Okay. Now, I am going to do a couple word problems. So over here on the right, I'm going to give you some phrases that you will hear that go with each of our four inequality symbols that we could use. Okay. So let's start with this one. So how I know that in a word problem it's not a greater than symbol is that I have to pair it with a word that means equals. And one of the e smallest little words that means equals is the word is. So is greater than. Is more than. Now, for less than, we still are going to pair the word, but now we're going to say is less than, is fewer than. Okay, and then let's do greater than or equal to. Now, this is where the words sound interesting. Is at least. It's the smallest it could be, but it could be more. Okay, so if you could add on that little phrase, but it could be more, it means it's greater than or equal to. Is minimally. This is the smallest it could be, but it could be more. Okay, and then we have less than or equal to. So we're going to have is at most, meaning this is the biggest it could be, but it could be smaller. Is at most, or is maximally. This is the biggest it could be, but it could be smaller. Okay, so let's uh, do a little bit of uh, translating. So now on these we're just going to translate. We're not going to solve, but we could solve these. So this is just getting used to the language. So three more than. Oops, three. More than. Didn't say is. A number. is less than, oh, there's the is, 
twice the number. Okay. So these are going to involve numbers, variables, operations, inequalities. Yeah, that's it. All those things. So let's start off with the easy. Let's find numbers. 3 is a number. Twice means to multiply by 2. Okay? Ooh, I'm not going to put that there. All right, so that's a special number. So I'm going to add to that an operation. More than. It doesn't say is more than. So here, more than, remember back in the earlier chapter, means to add. It also is a switcher phrase. Okay. And then we have the multiplying over here. Okay. Now, look for some inequality words, and I see the words is less than. Is less than. So I'm going to take that guy. And that's the inequality less than. So let's see what's left. A number. The number. Okay. So when I translate this properly, I get x plus 3 is less than 2x. And then I could solve this by getting x alone on the left and constant on the right. But right now we're just practicing that translating. Okay. Last one like this. Twice a number. Increased by. So what's strange is we're looking for words that mean an inequality, but with them we're looking for words that mean operation, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. So increased by 4 is at least 10 more than the number. Sorry, I'm scrunching it in. That's terrible of me. Okay, so let's look for some numbers. So we've got twice again, which actually tells us two things. Two and to multiply. Four. Ten. Okay. So we got a bunch of numbers. Let's look for, uh, you know what I want to find? Where's my, uh, let's look for my inequality. A number. The number. Okay, let's look for some operations. We already got that multiplication in. Increased by. That means add and more than. Ooh, that means to add, but it also means to switch the order. Okay. So let's see, everything is taken care of except for is at least is at least which means this is the smallest it could be but it could be more so that means greater than or equal to is at least okay so let's write it down we have 2x plus 4 is greater than or equal to and then I'm going to switch the order x plus and there you go. And again, we could solve that. All right, so let's go and talk about um, on my next screen about multiplying and dividing inequality. So this is actually lesson 5-2. Okay, so multiplying, dividing, same idea, 
is going to be um, doing inverse operations. And they, these two operations undo each other. However, we do have something unusual. Okay, so if you multiply or divide by a negative number, in an inequality, so it's all these stipulations. Then, the inequality symbol must flip. So here we go. We're going to just do a couple of examples. Directions are going to say solve. Graph the solution. So it's only when you multiply or divide by a negative. It has nothing to do with adding or subtracting, and it has nothing to do if there's a negative in the constant. It's the coefficient that's going to be in charge. Graph the solution. Okay, so let's see. We did 3, 4, 5. We'll make this number 5. So we have 60t is greater than 8. So I check to make sure my variable's on the left. It is. So then I would divide both sides by 60. Ooh, look at that. We're going to get a fraction. Okay. And it's a positive number, so it's going to stay as is. So I am going to simplify, though. And let's see, these both have a 4 in common. So let's divide out a 4. And I get 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 60 divided by 4 is 15. So x is greater than 2 fifteenths. OK, so in the event that you're asked to graph a fraction, on your number line, I want you to put four numbers. Why? I want you to put the two whole numbers that your fraction or mixed number answer falls between. So 2 fifteenths is between 0 and 1. Then I want a number smaller than 0 and a number greater than 1. Now you're just going to kind of estimate where 2 fifteenths is. You're going to label it. And then we're going to analyze. So we have greater than, so it excludes the 2 fifteenths, so it's going to be an open circle, and it's pointing to the right, so we're going to graph to the right. So we have an open circle at the 2 fifteenths, color in so that I can see what direction you're moving, and there you are. All right, let's try another one. Ooh, got a negative coefficient. Negative 7d is less than or equal to 147. So we're going to do inverse operations now. Anytime I divide by a negative, I draw an arrow to my inequality. Why? I want to remind myself that I'm going to need to flip it. So this is going to give me d. Your inequality becomes greater than or equal to. Over on the other side, signs are different, so you're going to get a negative. 7 goes into 14 twice evenly and into itself once. So I get D is greater than or equal to negative 21. So we're going to look at that greater than or equal to, and it tells me it's going to be a closed circle. It's saying that 21 is an answer, and it's pointing to the right, so that's the direction we're going to color. Now, it's a whole number, so I only need three numbers on my number line. So, one, two, three. 21 goes in the middle. In front is 20. And, oh, sorry. Try that again. Negative 21 goes in the middle. So, to the left is negative 22, and to the right is negative 20. Most common mistake right there.
get your numbers wrong. So at 21, close circle, and then we color to the right for greater than. And last one. We've got negative 3 sevenths r is greater than 21. Now, we dealt with this problem back in chapter 2 when we were doing the equations, and we talked about if your coefficient is a fraction, then you're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. That's going to be the fastest way of doing this. So we have negative 7 thirds. Ooh, it's a negative, so I'm going to remind myself to flip around. And we have negative 7 thirds. Okay, so when I multiply reciprocals, I get r. The inequality flips to less than. Actually, I need to change that color. Less than, and then here the signs are different, so the answer is going to be negative. 3 goes into itself once and into 21 7 times, and 7 times 7 is 49. So I get r is less than negative 49. So let's evaluate that. Less than means negative 49 is not an answer, so it's going to be an open circle, and then it's pointing to the left. So again, since it's a whole number, or not a whole, well, it's an integer. Let's put it that way. Three tick marks only, negative 49 in the center. That puts negative 50 smaller because it's going farther away, negative 48 to the right of it. We're going to graph an open circle at negative 49 and color to the left for less than. And there you go. See you later, guys. Bye now.